Hey everybody, today I'm going to provide you with a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to replace your corrosion control anodes on this Mercury 60 horsepower outboard. An anode helps protect the outboard against galvanic corrosion by sacrificing its metal to be slowly corroded instead of the outboard metals. Each anode requires periodic inspection, especially in salt water where corrosion can be accelerated. This outboard has three anodes, two on the gear case and one below the transom assembly bracket. Always make sure to have your outboard maintenance manual handy for reference. You always want to replace your anodes before they're fully corroded to protect your engine from corrosion. We're going to start with the anodes on the gear case, which are held together by a singular bolt, which fits a 10 millimeter socket. It's important to note that there's a nylon locking nut on the back of this, which releases the anodes from the gear case. So these anodes are actually perfectly fine, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna go ahead and replace them. So for this, we're gonna reuse the same bolt, which means we have to remove it from the old anode, crack open the packaging on the two new ones. You'll note that these anodes have a taper, and a good way to remember how to put them into the gear case is actually have that pointy end facing you. So we got the bolt in one, we're gonna go ahead and feed the other anode into it itself. Find that locking nut, put it on the end of the bolt, and start retightening it. From there, we'll grab our other 10 millimeter socket and get that locking nut snug down. Now we're gonna move on to the power trim anode or the anode that sits below the transom assembly bracket. This anode's actually held together by two bolts in the back. Again, they take a 10 millimeter socket. So now we've removed the power trim anode. We're gonna put the new one on. I will say one thing to keep in mind is bring the power trim anode down to where it's lined up with the transom assembly bracket because there's two different distance of holes on the, on the anode itself. That'll help you line it up when you go to replace the new one. This one also does come with new fasteners, but in this case, the old stainless steel ones are just fine. You'll note there's a small cable that connects the transom assembly bracket to the anode. Just make sure that that's connected as you reassemble the anode. It's a simple but important process to protect your engine from corrosion.